So basically, what just happened there was I fucked up, but I'm smart, you see. I'm going to delete that damn paper towel in a minute, <laughs> I'm going to sell it, because I don't want to know what it does, I don't, I don't need it, I think it has a number on it actually, which pisses me off, it's, it's an advertisement, in, okay, in Japan, I'm just going to move this, I guess I can relate it to a different thing, but uh, in Vegas, or really any popular area in America. You know how those people run up on, like, walk up on you when you're walking around the famous district and, and uh, they hand you a, a piece of paper, a pamphlet, uh, a business card for a place, a weird in inspirational thing? You know, any type of thing like that. Uh, it's just an advertisement, really. It's basically that. They're not even aggressive about it. They hand you this tissue. But in Japan, they're not aggressive about it. They go, hey, here's the tissue. And you go, oh, man, that's so useful. And you open it, and it's a fucking ad. <laughs> it's sneaky as hell. Like, you'll, you'll be like, oh, yeah, they just gave me a tissue. Whatever. They were being nice. And then later on, you're like, I'm going to sneeze. Th their thought is that you're going to open it completely, because you will. And you'll see the little advertisement that's just printed on it. And you might go to that place and you might not. But they made you... It's, they are living pop-up ads, is what that is. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's just hilarious to see it happen. And suddenly you're, you're walking... And then you get handed a thing you're like, yeah! Like, in America to have a suit. I've had people just walk up on me. And just hand me a random piece of paper, like, ha <laughs> The last time it happened, it was an inspirational poem about... <laughs> and, and, now get this, it was an inspirational poem about male power, because, and I, th I think I know what it was. <laughs> I was walking away from a, a place... I won't say what the place was, but I was walking away from a place, and uh, I was with my family, you know, siblings and whatnot, and the, uh, the dude was, I guess the dude hangs out around that area giving pamphlets to people who appear to be in a situation, and yeah, that's good for those people, but those people might feel as insulted as I was. Basically, a dude hands you a little little slip, a little printed off piece of whatever, and it has his Facebook and his email, I think it was. And it's this, um, you know that old picture that everyone have see, has seen, that just on your computer when you get it, of the ocean, or like, it's an orange sunset, and the, uh, just, just right off the horizon, the sun is right there. That's the picture. It's, it's basic. I've seen it a million times. I don't hate it. I turned it green once because I was like, eh, I want to see the sun be green. But, uh, yeah, so it had this little inspirational poem on it about male power and some weird cult shit. And I did not like that. So I, I didn't make a fuss or anything. I just took the piece of paper, <laughs> put it in my, uh, folded it, put it in my pocket. Oh, wait, no, yeah. I don't remember what he said. He said, don't fold it. I was like, ha ha, sure, man. I walked about five feet, folded that shit, put it in my back pocket, read it later, threw it away. 
don't, uh, I don't have it anymore because I threw it away. Because it was a weird cult thing. His cult, in fact. It was like a listing for his cult and a phone number for his cult and an email for his cult and a Facebook or Twitter. I don't, I don't remember which one it was, but it was like, it was just like, a, a <laughs> it was like an advertisement for his cult. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. And that happens in Japan too. There's cults in Japan. There's a bunch. Uh, there's like Nichiren. I don't want to speak too much on it, but there's this thing Nichiren Buddhism where they um they t <laughs> they they're really sneaky. Basically, they'll tell you there is like, hey, want to go get some food for free? And when you if if you go with them, I don't know how many people would actually actually fall for it, but I mean I know one person who did. Or I know a friend of a friend who did. But um, so yeah, they uh, they kidnap you. And they don't like angry kidnap you. They they polite kidnap you. Like they <laughs> they they <laughs> they say, hey, you want some food? And then they take you to their uh, Buddhist temple to pray. And they don't say food. They say like, hey, you want some McDonald's? They say like a specific thing that you might like. And they're like, yeah, we got them. And um, they they get you in the van, and then they take you to their temple to pray. And they're like, yeah, McDonald's, right, for your soul. That is some weird shit, but yeah, I don't even think they get violent with you. They they let you go home. It's just, just <laughs> overly aggressive viral marketing in a way. I'm perfectly fine with being handed a, a business card though, or handing out business cards. I, I'll like collect business cards and like, hey, do you like this thing? I guess on with Twitch, the business card we have that among us really are the cool emotes we get. Like I love all the emotes I have. Like I subscribe to people specifically for emotes. I mean I like the people too. Like there are a core set of emotes that I keep, except for Chip. Chip, I'm resubbing you next month. I got a I made a <laughs> decision this month. And I guess I'll, in reality, I'm re or I'm rotating it. I'm rotating it. Let's be honest. Uh, I resub to K Witty because I love those emotes. And then, and then a couple other people showed up, and I'm not gonna mention that name. A couple other people showed up, and <laughs> I'm like, you have a berserk emote. You have a berserk emote? Huh? You both have berserk emotes. And they 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 flex their berserk emotes on me. I'm like, hey, you got a berserk, you got a no, not but not berserk, you got a guts emote, yeah, and encourages Carol the dog emote and a Pokemon emote. And if you know the person who has that combination of emotes, uh, you should subscribe to that person if you want those emotes. He's a real great guy. He's an amazing dude. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I mean, whoever the hell is watching this. But, uh... What just happened there that pissed me off? If you, you didn't hear the reaction, you probably saw my character. I'm going to immediately go... Here... Actually, I'm going to type something in real quick. While I go to... Oh wait, I think I'm actually here already. Yeah! Yeah, it's literally back to... Yeah. Pocket tissue...
Okay, cool. No, but uh, the reason I'm so apprehensive for this is in Yakuza 2, the, uh, the people in the, the barkers on the street, and that's what the people, the viral marketing people, they would force the napkins onto your inventory. So they'll ju they just run up on you and go, hey, here's this, boom. You, <laughs> you just lost an inventory slot. And in Yakuza 3, you could learn a move where you handed out the uh, the tissues to confuse them. Oh, that's... Oh, 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 they're advertising sex trade. <sighs> There's another wrong with that. I know. Uh, people are known. They're nice people. They like cool stuff. That's all I need to know. They are humans who are, in many cases, really great people. Who have a job, they do. I mean, it's not on me to judge someone for their job. I'm Right there we go. Yeah, that's it. ありがとうございます。